Whether you're new to my channel, you've only watched one or two videos, or you've been here for a few years and you've watched a bunch, if there's anything that any one of you can probably tell about me, it's that I love Lego boats. You all know that my most successful series here on YouTube is my Will It Float series. And of course, the heart behind that entire series is my Lego boat collection. So today, I'm super excited to be here in my Lego room to give you a full tour of my Lego boat collection. Other than the Will It Float series itself, I think this has probably got to be one of my most requested videos here on my channel recently. So I'm really excited to be here today showing you and deep diving into my Lego boat collection. Many of these you would have seen on camera before in my Will It Float series, but some of them are also quite new and have never been in a Will It Float video before, so you might be seeing them for the very first time. When I redid my Lego room a few months ago and added this wall of shelves, I was finally able to find a nice place for all my boats to go and be stored. So let me show you the collection. The very first boat today is one that's never been in a Will It Float series, and that is the new Pirates of Barracuda Bay set. This one took me a long time to build because Lego forgot a whole bag of pieces, but as you can see, it is the largest boat, or one of the largest boats definitely in my collection. It is pretty incredible. Right now I've got the setup that it's like the shipwreck, but I can easily convert this to a working Lego boat, and I'm just kind of foreshadowing the future now. Over here, I've got two shelves of Lego boats, as you can see. So, of course, the one big shelf here with Pirates of Barracuda Bay. And then, of course, these two smaller shelves full of boats. As you can see, there's dozens of boats on each shelf. I've also got, all the way over here, a whole bunch of boats. These are all the larger boats that are on display, and I will definitely come back to those. I want to save the best for last. So, as you can see here above my city, these are some of the boats that I have in my collection. Starting at the very back here, we've got the old marina. Uh, this is just some random build. You know, I don't even think it's what the set actually looks like, but I've had this set for a few years now, and I just wanted to find somewhere nice to put it. Right here, as you can see, I've got the small Lego City passenger speedboat next to the Lego City race boat. This one I definitely tested out to see if it would float. Beside that was actually the boat that inspired the entire Will It Float series, and that is this Lego Ferry. As you can see, it's pretty awesome. It is set number 60119. It's a pretty old set, and literally the first time I saw that, I knew I wanted to test it to see if it would float. On the ferry, I've actually got a few boats here, including the Lego Fireboat, which has made it into a Will It Float video, as well as the Lego Coast Guard boat. We haven't had Coast Guard in a really long time, or at least this is the older Coast Guard, so that's pretty cool. Next to that, we've got the Lego City Police Boat, which I don't think has been one that was uh, tested in a Will It Float video. I honestly don't even remember where I got this set. I think it was in a used haul, but it's a pretty cool one there. Next to that, as you can see, is another Coast Guard boat. This one, I believe... Next to that is another Coast Guard boat. This one definitely has been in a Will It Float series in the past. As you can see, it's pretty awesome. Even comes with a helicopter to land on the bow there, which is really, really awesome. This is definitely the shelf that's least full because these boats take up a lot more space. Uh, but we've got a few really big boats here and I'll just briefly overview them one more time so you can get a better glimpse. At the back there, it also looks like we've got a rubber dinghy, which is pretty fun. And then of course, everything's just next to the marina. Up here on this shelf, as you can see, it is a lot fuller compared to this last one. There are several different boats here. Starting off at the very end here, we've got this micro scale boat from one of the advent calendars. And we've got the new hidden side boat, which looks really, really cool. At the very back here, as you can see, there's a couple jet skis as well as a river raft. Some of these have definitely been in the Will It Float series in the past. None of them are too significant to my collection, so that's why they're kind of stored at the back here. As you can see up here, we've got a wakeboard, which is really awesome. I really love the design of that. And then we've got the custom Brook Lover 18 canoe. I just love it because it's yellow, and you all know I love my yellow colors. We've got a police boat right here, which is obviously significantly smaller than the police boat down there, but still looks really, really incredible. Next to that, we actually have a robber's boat, quite a bit larger than the police boat. It's more like a bigger sized rubber dinghy. At the back there, next to all the other jet skis, we've actually got two more Coast Guard boats. One is a Coast Guard rubber dinghy, and then one is the Coast Guard jet ski, which looks really, really awesome. We've got a racing dinghy back there, as well as an escape pod, or like a, a safety, a life raft, I guess you could say, from falling off the ship. This is what is actually rescued in one of the Coast Guard sets. Next to that, we've got like a fishing boat. These are the ones I think, I don't know what they're called, but like the airboats you like typically see in like Louisiana or something like that, which looks really cool. So we've 
you've got some fishermen there and they all use the same wrap piece some of them have been tested on the will it float series but obviously not all of them because they're kind of the same boat next to that we've got a few leisurely crafts which i really really like so we've got this one here which is the lego city it's like a mini yacht which looks really really awesome it's actually got a shark next to it so i wouldn't want to get too close or maybe go swimming right yet next to that is of course the lego city fisherman's boat i really love this one because i think it's really awesome it's got so many great features and it's really really good fishing i can't remember if that one's been tested in the will it float series this is one of the newer ones here this is the lego city diving yacht as you can see there's the diver on it right there she's ready to go it's even got the diving flag and everything at all i really like this one i think it's pretty sleek and then next to that really hidden in the corner is the lego city fire boat as you can see 60005 it's a pretty old set now really really cool i've definitely tested that one out and then as you can see there's also another little micro build of this really cool pirate ship uh but overall there's so many boats here some of them have been tested as i said some of them have not you'll have to let me know down in the comments below if you are recognizing any of these boats so far but i think they're really cool i would love to have like a little a better display i guess in my lego room for them all but i think above my city right above my beach area is the perfect spot for at least some of these smaller ones uh that i've already showed you down here in the city as you can see there are just a few more we've got the kayak as well as a wind sailor and a canoer which is really really fun um moving on here like you've already seen the pirates of barracuda bay we'll actually move up here to the ceiling on top of all my shelves to show you a few more before we do that i've got the monkey kid boat down here this is actually one of my most recent lego sets i built not even just most recent boat like my most recent set in general very excited to have built this one it's a pretty cool set and i was pretty impressed with it it will definitely get tested at some point because i can't not have a boat this big and obviously not test it out up here we've got the lego ninjago ship which is not a lego ninjago pirate ship which i learned the hard way as you can see this is one of my most successful will it float videos it's up here it's a beautiful set next to that is the most recent set you know the most recent boat that i tested this summer it is the old lego creator fairy absolutely love this set such an incredible build and it was so much fun i got that used this last summer this is the main attraction from my most successful Lego boat video. This is the Lego Frenzy Yacht, which I got at Philly Brickfest. I believe my dad won it in a contest, which is awesome. I, for whatever reason, always wanted that set. Um, and I don't even know if it was for the Will It Float videos, but it is an incredible set and I absolutely love it. It's up here in all its glory. It really does make the Lego Creator Yacht look very small you know the lego friends yacht's huge it looks like so much fun and then there's this little fishing boat right next to it but it's still a pretty cool set it is great it survived a lego boat video as well barely and then this is also one of the most recent sets i build if actually i think this might be the most recent it is the lego creator pirate ship I bought this one a few months ago and just never really built it because I bought it at the same time as the Pirates of Barracuda Bay, but I just built it recently and I do have to say this is one of the better Lego City boats or Lego Creator boats that's been released in this last little while. It's got so many great pieces and I just thought it was a really fun build and it looks really awesome here on display. I love all the different features of it and again, I can't wait to test to see if this one will float. And of course, I definitely can't forget to show you the Steamboat Willy boat, which I don't keep with the rest of my boats because I like to keep it here on display in my studio. I've also got quite the collection of Lego seaplanes and of course just Lego planes in general, but that's not the topic of this video. So if you do want to see the Lego seaplane collection or even just the plane collection, you will have to let me know down in the comments below and maybe that's something we can do in a future video. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for checking out my tour of my Lego boat collection. Absolutely love all these boats. It's what's really helped me grow here on YouTube and really kind of helped me find my voice. So I will be forever grateful for all these boats that I get to have in my collection and as long as lego keeps releasing new boats i will continue making my most fun video every year the will it float collection i i absolutely love making them and i love that you guys love watching them as well so i'm very excited to continue that and, but in the meantime i'm glad i was able to show you part of my boat collection and give you a sneak preview of what you might expect to see in the next will it float series all right, everyone, thanks again so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and of course, subscribe. You'll have to let me know down in the comments below what you think of my Lego boat collection. I am really, really excited to hear your thoughts. All right, thanks again so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.